six months. Q3, Q4, yeah. super important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and welcome everybody to today's uh, live shopping bootcamp. Uh, my name is uh, Corey Morris. I'm the CMO here at Elisa. And why don't you introduce yourself, Christian? Yeah, my name is Christian and I'm a CEO of Elisa and I'm so excited about live shopping and video commerce. So I really like to be a part of these uh, webinars and talk to you and also hear your questions and so on. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So a little bit about Elisa. Elisa is one of the leading companies within live shopping and we've developed an award-winning uh, piece of software that lets companies like you host live shopping events across social media, across your websites. And it actually allow that allows these, le these live shopping events Let's people interact with one another, mm -hmm. lets people buy things, but we're gonna dig into that a little bit yeah, more, right? Yeah, hope so. So what we wanted to do was to give you guys a live shopping bootcamp. A bootcamp mm -hmm. is what we're calling it. And it's a series of five bootcamps, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that, about that mm -hmm. in a second, as well as about what each and every one does, but really just to give you guys the nuts and the bolts that you need so that you can become live shopping experts, yeah. kind of like us, right? Exactly. That's really what it boils down yeah. to. And uh, it's not that live shopping is uh, super hard to start with. No, not at all. It's actually quite easy, but we can also see after we have been a part of hundreds of shows and hundreds of brands that there are some do's and don'ts and tips and tricks yep. that are really nice to give to both some who are experienced with live shopping, but also uh, newbies so they can uh, get a kickstart. Yep. In the and the reason that we're here, the reason we're mm -hmm. able to talk about this is because we've been doing this for a few years. Mm -hmm. We are one of the leading live uh, shopping technology companies out there. We've hosted nearly 32,000 live shopping events, or at least they've been facilitated through our platform. We've helped generate 123 million US dollars for our customers. And we've sold or helped sell nearly <laughs> 7 million yeah. products. And that's just in a, a, a few years. Yeah. So a lot, lot to dig into today. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. I'm going to jump back over to the screen here. Yep, that's us. So we're starting with Christian, but we're, then we're going to bring in Benjamin Henriksen yeah. a little bit later. And he's going to talk a little bit more about those, those, uh, those tools that you talked about, yes. the, the nuts and the bolts that we, that we, um, that we mentioned yeah. earlier. Look forward to that. Very Benjamin much so. Awesome. Yeah, Benjamin is great. So yeah. this is our Live Shopping Bootcamp webinar series. Uh, today, we're starting uh, with a primer. It's the Live Shopping 101, a beginner's guide to interactive e-commerce, also basically known as, as live shopping. So this is an interactive session today, and we want to know where you're watching from. So go ahead and drop that in the comments. I suspect that we have people viewing from all over the world. So just drop your, uh, your city's name and drop your country if you want to and give us a little shout out. Also, we want to get to your questions. So if you want to, go ahead and start putting those questions in there. We'll try to get to them during the session today. If not, we'll also try to write our responses in, in the comment field. But just, just, just so you know, so this, it's not a one-way street. We mm -hmm. want to get you guys uh, uh, it, it, as a part of the conversation as quickly as possible. So really quickly, what is the five-part Live Shopping Bootcamp series? The most important thing, guys, is that we're going to handhold you from becoming a newbie to being an expert. And don't worry, we've got this together. We're going to help you every step of the way. As you can see, today it's August. We're doing Live Shopping 101, a beginner's guide. And then we have these other four, Live Shopping Strategies. That's next month. Also, at the end of next month, we're going to do Live Shopping Success Stories. As you can see, we're building on top of each uh, each. Uh, web, webinar. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to be looking at measuring success. And I think that's super important. When you go in and look at the numbers and look at your dashboard, how do you determine success? How do you measure success? And then <clears throat> lastly, but certainly not leastly, choosing the right platform. Yeah. Yeah. So from August into October, you're going to go from newbie to expert. And today, here's a high level overview of the talking points for today, guys. So it's a beginner's guide, so we're going to be looking very briefly at what is live shopping. Lots of definitions out there right now. We're going to give you our definition, mm -hmm. and then we're going to talk about who's it really for, who's using it, who's winning with it right now, why, and how does it work. I think that's super important. That's kind mm -hmm. of the need of it, maybe, and obviously how to get started. So good jumping off point. Yeah. All right, let's, let's rock. rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, so let's start with the basics. What is live shopping? Yeah. And what do you think, Christian? Yeah, maybe we should just uh, take, firstly take the, um, 
the slice here where we have a definition because yeah. then we have some starting points. Let's do that. So, okay, let's go back so to the, that. The three first slides you have here, it says live shopping is the dynamic heartbeat of retail's future. And yeah. it seamlessly merge real time uh, interactivity. And the last one is that uh, it also uh, engage with consumers, right? Yeah. So like never before. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And this is this is a definition, but I also think it's important to say that live shopping is a uh, sales and marketing tool. So it can also be used in many different ways for many different purposes, like yeah. other marketing uh, tools, like email marketing or whatever sure. you you have. Sure. It's a part of that toolbox. Yeah, exactly. And. Um, now we have, as you mentioned, we have done a lot of live shopping shows and we have over the last two and a half years really seen how uh, successful uh, brands and retailers can come with live shopping. And I think that's also a part of the definition why uh, they have success. So first of all, it takes some of the greatest part from both uh, the physical store mm. and also yeah. online shopping. Yeah, I love so, that. so the engagement or the conversations you can have in a physical store, it's brought into this live mm, session. Absolutely. But there is, but there is still the, uh, what do you call it, the convenience of mm. online shopping. You can sit at home, you can watch a show, you can ask questions, you can be informed, and you can also be, um, what is it called when it's, it's entertaining at the same sure, time. Right? Sure, sure, sure. And you can do it whenever you want. So that's also a, a huge part of it. And from a business perspective, from the retailer's perspective and the brand's perspective, it is possible for you to take a, a potential customer all the way down in the sales funnel. Super fast. Yeah, yeah. exactly. From yeah. attention uh, and then they can get all the information they mm. needed and be intrigued and then uh, go to the purchase situation. Yeah, very very quick purchase decisions mm -hmm. for uh, an accelerated uh, sales funnel. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. So here's here's a kind of a, an emoji filled mm -hmm. definition for those who like the textbook definition. And it's a live, yeah, so live shopping is basically a live video broadcast. Doesn't have to be live, but let's stick with live right mm -hmm. now. Where a host, that's the host, can showcase products Clothes, we're going to get into what those mm. products can be, for example. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is that users can interact with one another. Yeah. And they can buy things yes. directly from the videos. As mm -hmm. you mentioned before, it does marry the best of both in-store, e-commerce, and social media. Yeah. I think that's the unique part mm -hmm. of it. You get that, that personal touch of in-store experience, which we all mm -hmm. long for and I, th I think is super important, mm -hmm. but also the ease of just being able to sit back on your yeah. sofa, buy it whenever you want to. Yeah, and it's also a way for, for the brand to, um, to take a step out of the crowd from their competitors sure. because you, become, you put a face on your brand or on your uh, e-commerce side. And for a long, long time, we have been used to when we buy online, it's a... Uh, uh, product uh, image page where you can go and maybe get some information but it's really hard for you as a retailer to really communicate about your products it's much easier in the physical world or at a, a screen like this because you are a bit closer to your customers yeah what i like about it is is it kind of combines that human factor that mm -hmm. you get when you're in the store and kind of brings that into the e-commerce yeah. world because when you're on most websites, maybe you can talk to a chat bot or something mm -hmm. like that, but I actually want to see a person. I want to talk to a person. And you also get to do it when you're together with all of your friends or maybe mm -hmm. people you don't know. That's the social aspect, aspect yeah. of it as well. I, I know that a lot of people call it live shopping, but mm -hmm. you also hear people call it social yeah. commerce as well, which I think is interesting. But look, there's a, there's a lot we can dig in, dig into and just from an abstract, a yeah. definition level uh, as mm -hmm. well. But really what it boils down to is like, okay, let's look at this. The reason that, oh, actually, let's, let's, let's look at something else real quick. Let's look at why people are so excited about the live shock, shopping uh, market. And that's because it's already massive. Mm -hmm. So this just came out from the New York Times. In the United States alone, it's estimated to be, become a $32 billion market just this year. But in China, where everything kind of started, we're already looking at a nearly $650 billion market just this year. Mm -hmm. Another side of it, which I think is incredibly interesting, is it's, it's that investors are really bullish about mm -hmm. its potential, and they're pouring millions into live shopping software. So all of these are really positive signs that this isn't just a trend. This isn't just something that's going to be here and be gone. It's a movement. Mm -hmm. It is the future of retail. Yeah. 
Yeah, and also if you just ask uh, industry experts about what is important for retailers and brands in the future, it is to become personal with your uh, potential customers. Yeah. And video commerce and live shopping is just a, a, a really good tool for that to yeah. happen. Because yeah. everything, you can't beat your competis competitors only on price or uh, nice pictures. You really need to become... Uh, more close and more interactive. Yeah, building with, relationships, yeah, exactly. providing a, a unique yeah. experiences. Absolutely. And ultimately create communities where your audience or yeah. your customers uh, engage with, with each other as well. Uh, yeah. I think and the community we'll aspect is, is super important. Mm -hmm. We should probably do a webinar just about just about building community with, yeah. with live shopping. <laughs> I think we have a lot of good cases out there if you guys want to read about that. So let's go back to one more. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the reason it's called live shopping is because, hey, it's live. Yeah. Now we're going to dig into the anatomy of an actual live shopping event in just a few seconds. But this is why it's called live shopping. We have two two employees uh, from one of uh, one of Scandinavia's largest uh, beauty mm -hmm. uh, uh, retailers doing a live shopping event, crushing it. They've got all the elements going on. They're showing the products. They're, they're doing the competitions. Here's just a slight little preview. It's a teaser. We're going to come back to this uh, in, in a second. So let's look at something else. Yep. All right. So people are like, yeah, I got mm -hmm. it. I understand it. It's, I know what live shopping is now, but who is using it? You just showed us a, a, a mm. picture of a beauty brand, but who else can use it? Um, and I think this is a question we get a lot. Mm -hmm. And so let's let's dig into that a little bit more, right? Yeah. And it's also something that keeps surprising me, actually, because in the beginning, two and a half years ago, maybe we thought, okay, this is for fashion and this is for beauty primarily, mm. but... Now we can see that almost every kind of product can be sold or presented or whatever you, you should call it on a live shopping show. Yeah. And latest, we also have very, very uh, diverse categories as a festival and a football club. So it's not only beauty and, uh, right. and fashion, right. not at all. We have a lot of verticals who have success with uh, live shopping. I think a really good way of looking at it, I like this, is like if you've got something to sell, then ultimately you can use some form mm -hmm. of live shopping. And I think that's what you're seeing as well. Um, I think your traditional verticals like these right here, you know, beauty and health, fashion and accessories, mm -hmm. all the way to hobby and do it yourself and electronics and appliances, those are kind of the what we'd say, for lack of a better expression, the usual suspects. Yeah. But we're beginning to see new types of services, activities that are mm -hmm. kind of maybe in the second tier embrace this as well mm -hmm. because it's diff it's a unique way to get your product your service out there it's a new way a unique way to build community yeah and i think that's one of the most fascinating things about it. it's not just limited to a specific vertical no. but we're seeing a bunch of different ones do it and if you guys are out there and looking at this right now you're thinking okay are these just uh, are these stock photos no they're not they're not stock photos <laughs> These are actually uh, images, screenshots from some uh, from actual live shopping yeah. uh, events that have taken place uh, via the Elisa mm -hmm. platform. And I think on, under every category, there are hundreds of successful uh, retailers and brands. Uh, so it's not that we only have one electronic retailer who have success. We have a lot of them, and the same for uh, fashion and accessory and so on. So if you are a brand, you also and and you are. Um, you don't know, is mm. this really something for right. us? Right. Then just uh, write to us or put in the comments what business you are representing and then yeah. we can send a similar case maybe to you. Maybe it's not from the country you come from, but it can be from another country and then you can see, okay, could this fit what we want to do and the purposes we have? Absolutely. And if you want, if you guys are out there and you want to dig into these cases uh, a, a little bit more, then you can actually go to the website. And I believe most of these that have a customer success story behind mm -hmm. them. So you can, you can look into, okay, how did they use them? Uh, what products and services were they selling? What were some of the, the success criteria that they had lined up? And actually, yeah. how did they do? What were the final results from their, from their, uh, their use of, of live shopping? The idea here is though, just to let people know, hey, there's lots of things you can do. And if you're yeah. selling something right now, there's a really good opportunity for you to use uh, live shopping. But having said that, I think it's important to give people a little bit more guidelines, yep. Christian, in terms of like, okay, what's really working? You say everybody who's selling <laughs> something can use it. We do believe, though, there's this thing called like a pre-flight pre checklist. Yeah. 
And these are just six of the many things you could possibly ask yourself. Yeah. Let's talk about these. Yeah, so firstly, we have strong so me following. And I think the, the most important thing to say here is that you need to have some kind of scene, right? You, have, yeah. you need to have a place where you can present uh, your products and uh, you can go live on Instagram or Facebook or your own web page. So if you have a thousand followers on Instagram, you already have an audience. You can also have 300,000 and maybe you have a bit better start there, but it all depends on who is the customers behind the screen. Sure. Um, then it's also said you just need to have a store, right? A physical or an online store. Uh, a solution like ours can uh, can be used for uh, for both of them, and then um, a compelling product story, and that's also correct because if you have a product, you really can showcase mm. and um, and inform people about you. You really have an opportunity to to sell your product, but you can also be a multi-brand retailer and just be very engaged with uh, your different brands yep. and represent. What they, um, what their benefits are, or why this is uh, hot right now, or whatever it could be. Right? I think you, I think every product, every service, in some capacity, mm -hmm. has a story that can be told yeah. about it. Yeah, exactly. And then we have also written engaging hosts, and I think a key here is if you, if you think, okay, I'm not the most experienced to be on video or uh, be on camera. It's a good idea to be hosts. So, uh, for example, here we have mm. this session, and I think it's very nice that you are with me today because then we are two to share the scene. Yep. And that's also uh, a great point when you go live in the beginning, especially it can be easier to talk to you here sure. at my side. And but when you become more experienced, you can also talk to the camera. Exactly, directly your camera's your friend. And ask questions. <laughs> There's millions and, of people out there. Yeah, exactly. And that's the most important <laughs> right. part is actually to talk to the camera. Right. Yeah. But it's not a one-way conversation either. I think that's yeah. what's also really important mm -hmm. to remember is like you, you're actually interacting with yeah. your customers through, through comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right, so the, the, there's a few more. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, of course, you also want to go live because you want to grow your business and maybe also to, to beat uh, your competitors. Mm. And here is really a strong um, tool to do that. We see it, um, for example, we have just had a, a new customer who wanted to go into a new market, a quite established market, but because there were no one in their category going live in the market, mm. they would start with going live in that market sure. and that just made the, made the brand um, uh, quite, uh, or brand awareness just grow really quickly because uh, there is a face on the brand from yep. the start. Yep. Um, so I think the competitors have looked quite, um, what's it called? Outdated perhaps. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and maybe also a bit afraid of this new player sure. who come in. and oh, have, in that sense, right. Yeah, exactly, and have a personality and real people and not just a web page with uh, graphics and so on. Right. So, yeah. so you can use it in many different ways. So interesting go-to-market yeah, part, exactly. as a part of your go-to-market yeah. plan. Yeah. Interesting. Great. And we have one more? Yeah. And that's maybe just to say that it, it is really easy to start with going live. You yeah. don't, don't need a expensive setup at all. You can have a, a smart phone and just a wing light maybe to secure yeah. that the light yeah. is great but if you have a room with okay lightning you even uh, don't need a wing light uh, no, in the first place. I think a lot of people are intimidated by the technical aspects mm -hmm. of it. It's like hey guys it's really not that difficult. Yeah. If you got a phone it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be a, an iPhone it could be any yeah. type of smartphone and exactly. a ring light is just mainly, mainly just to to, uh, to make the, the, the image a little bit better. Yeah, exactly. And and when if, if a new uh, user of our product talks to our support or success uh, before the show, maybe we have a small checklist that mm. we say to them. So maybe have a, a calm uh, background. Don't uh, put the phone right beneath the air condition because then you can hear the sound in the uh, phone and so on. But it's quite simple things, right? right? So, right. Uh, right. so you don't need a education to make a successful live sh live shopping show not at all great mm. so that was the first part yeah thanks for joining us always a pleasure to have you uh, yeah. in the studio look forward to benjamin After, yeah <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, we are going. Any, any, any final comments before we, uh, I'm before looking we forward kick to next you out time. of here and then bring looking in Ben? Looking forward to next time, and please come with uh, questions and. Uh, so yeah, yeah, comments. folks, uh, this is not the last time you will see Christian here mm -hmm. in the studio. So thanks again. Thanks for taking time out of your Thank really you. busy schedule to join yep. us. And guys, we'll be back in a few seconds. We're going to do a little switcheroo, and we'll be right back. See you. Cheers, guys. Okay, we're back. We did a little switcheroo, folks. Uh, and now we brought into the studio a superstar, as Christian told you. You guys should be really excited to hear from Benjamin. Okay. Mr. Benjamin Henriksen from Let's Go Live. From Let's Go Live, yes. I'll let you introduce yourself just really Thank briefly. Thank you, Kerry. Yeah. I, have a, I have a bit of a broken voice because uh, it's actually one of our customers' fault. It was Smugfest, okay. the Danish festival. Were you been doing a lot of yelling? Yeah, I have. I, have. <laughs> I was so uh, happy about the live shopping. Uh, not that, uh, not that far ago. Did but you yeah. do a live shopping event at the Smoke Fest? No, we didn't do we it didn't. at the okay. Smoke Fest. We did okay. it before the festival. Get ready uh, to party. Right, that was yeah. huge. That was fun. That, that was, was fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, viewers and engagement and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, my name is Benjamin and uh, I am a live shopping specialist at Let's Go Live. Yep. Um, we are a sister company, I think we could mm -hmm. call to, yep. uh, to Elisa. Yep. Uh, a live shopping agency. Um, how do we describe a live shopping agency? There is not that many yet. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna see some of your work in a few few minutes. Oh, so, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from you cooking. Yeah, but it's basically uh, when you combine a ambitious and strategic uh, marketing agency. Mm -hmm. I think when you combine it with a video production company, yeah. and, and you're uh, really good at helping brands and retailers produce live nice. shopping events, like top shelf live shopping events. And we're gonna not only producing them, but also helping them strategize about how exactly. they should produce and why they should produce and what they're trying to gain from them. But we brought Christian here because he's our CEO. He can talk these things through at like a really high level. We brought you in to maybe go a little bit more mm -hmm. to the tactical operational level and actually talk about the meat of it. It's like, you know, why and how does all of this work? So this is what we're, gonna, we're, what we're going, I can't talk today. It's fine. I'm just coming, I, I can't either. I'm just coming back from vacation. <laughs> I'm just like blah, 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 all over the place. So we'll get there. Give us, uh, just, give us, just give us some time, folks. All right. So why and how does it work? And we're going to be looking at, as, as I said before, about the nuts and bolts. And we're going to uncover the secrets of why this thing is so darn successful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's dig into that. And uh, what we're going to be looking at right now, I think it's so important because when I started working here, I was like, all right, I see this. But what is it? Am I actually what is it? I'm actually looking at, mm. right? When I look yeah. at a live shopping event, what am I actually looking at? So, in order to understand how it works, what we want to do is like bring you through the anatomy of a live shopping experience. And in a few seconds, I'm going to play this, mm -hmm. and I just kind of want to. I just kind of want you to walk us through this. Mm -hmm. So let me let me press play. Perfect. Yeah. So and I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. But this is, yeah, just, this is fine, uh, yeah. one of uh, I think Denmark's biggest companies. Mm -hmm. A lot of stores, and they decided that they wanted uh, to go live. They also have a e -com an e-commerce uh, site. Um, but you know, many people in Denmark they, they just know Yusk uh, from their store. So this is a perfect way to combine. The right. e-commerce web shop so uh, with the physical stores. This is uh, Sandra and Rasmus, uh, two uh, department, uh, yeah. we call it, head of the They're head of their stores, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. exactly. And uh, Sandra is uh, now selling uh, some garden stuff, I think. I think it's outdoor furniture, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. One of the biggest events, actually. Um, and um, what you see now is that she's just talking to the viewers, uh, presenting the products, how to buy them, how can you use them, how can you style them. Right. It's a, it's a nice environment. And they're in the, they're in the actual store, right? Yeah, they are. But uh, one of the things that, that we have discovered is that it doesn't have to look that much like a store. You have to make some kind of inspirational or okay. uh, cozy uh, environment. Uh, because, you know, think of uh, when you're watching a live shopping party, you're watching, in, watching it uh, from your couch, I think. It's, uh, it's evening shows, most of them. Right. So we sort of have to match, um, you know, the, the place where the viewers are watching from. Okay. So uh, you could see at Yusk the background. 
Uh, your business, business is store, but if the, can we turn the camera? <laughs> if we turn the camera to the right, yeah. uh, there is a nice environment of a garden, right? Um, right. And they have, you know, place right. the furniture in some, some nice right. environments. And stuff. So up in the top it says live, and this says 2K. Is that so? There's 2,000 people watching this live, right? Yeah, exactly. 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 And, and this is live. Uh, you know, the hours after the live, many more. Uh, right. Of you as well, so. And we also see, we could look at this, it's... Yeah. it's so, so consumers are asking questions and they're communicating with them through chat, right? Yeah. So chat is the primary form of communication. Exactly. Okay, so at this point, consumers are not actually joining these live shows live. They're not, they're not live the audio, right? No, no. Chat. Okay. Actually, uh, in this live, I think in about five minutes or so, I ask some questions. I so you're the voice. Yeah, I, the voice. I sometimes take the, you know, the role of the viewer yeah. and, and I'm their yeah. voice because it just... Uh, you know, the barrier uh, from the viewers to the host, it, got, it just uh, gets... So it helps to maybe have a mediator. Yeah, exactly. Right, okay. exactly. Yeah. So a lot of oh, times... Sorry, not a mediator, that's the wrong word. A moderator. A moderator. Yeah. Right. Okay. And people are actually using the comments to make comments. Yeah, to right, right now they are telling where they're watching from. It's, right. it's, a nice, uh, right. it's a nice hack to get some comments, you know, just asking the, the viewers, uh, where are you watching from? Right. We are live from our store. In, in Aarhus, okay. uh, where are you watching from? And then you okay. just get some and we're gonna get back conversation to up and running. We're going to come back to this, but there is a, an added value of having people make lots of comments, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. But then people are actually, so, so it says, yeah, talk. One, yeah, talk to, which is basically means yes, please, one, yes, please, two it in English. That's what people write in the comment section to make a purchase. Exactly. Okay, so the people use the comments to buy. The products are added to their shopping basket, yeah. just the same way you would in a, on a, on a website. Yeah, on a website. Yeah. On a website. And then people follow that to actually complete the purchase. Exactly. Okay. Okay. But um, I think that's, that's nice. Fact about Yusk, you know, they they are, you know, the most important thing in their company is their stores. Right. Uh, it's it's where the most of the sales has to go through, and up to forty percent, uh, I think, are actually uh, selecting click and collect. You know, they are going to the to the store and collecting their stuff. Okay. So there's an omni-channel effect. Yeah, exactly. So it actually brings people into the physical yeah. store. Yeah. That's interesting. That's great. So yeah, the, the ultimate thing here is that it's, it leads to more or more comments and more engagements. Like you can see a lot of people giving the thumbs up, the hearts, the smiles. That actually drives more traffic, right? Second. I think that's the fascinating part. And if you guys don't, if you can't notice this user interface, this is Facebook. This is Facebook, yeah. But this could very well also be shared across Instagram. Yeah, we will also live on Instagram. Live on Instagram at the same time. Great. So same video feed, multiple channels. Great. Let's move forward because I think we have a few more examples of as well. Nice. So you guys are probably wondering right now, how does this all connect with your ecosystem? So this is really, this is really how it works at a high level. Mm. You take your web shop, an example could be Shopify, and that connects with your payment solution, which could be, for example, PayPal. And then that connects with your shipping solution, which in this case could be GLS. And that brings this all, that should actually be an equal sign up there, sorry for the, the graphic error there. <laughs> but that all makes them shoppable shows. And this is, for example, this shows Facebook and Instagram, but you could also add another icon there that says your own personal yeah. website as well. And again, when I have the examples down in the bottom, Shopify, PayPal, and GLS are just a few examples of the type of web shops, payments, and shipping uh, solutions that that uh, that we uh, in integrate, integrate with. with yeah. Integrate with, yeah. But there's a lot of people like, okay, take me a step back. How does this actually all work? And this is actually, to me, this is kind of like the, the hidden magic behind live shopping. Great. So going forward, uh, yeah, as we said before, it's also like you can show you can uh, show the same show on your social and your website at the same time. So this same show, this is one from Ida. They do uh, active apparel wear. Yeah. wear. They're showing the, the same show on Facebook, on their website, on Instagram, uh, either individually or everywhere at once. Right. And this is kind of really what makes uh, Elisa at least unique in terms yeah. of the platform. Do you want to say yeah, something? I yeah, I was just looking at the backgrounds at yeah. Ida. It's a perfect example of what we were talking about before. Mm. Uh, there is just a simple uh, background. It's, it's some kind of cozy. It's mm. curtains. It's textiles. And then they just have a, uh, a small plant, a yeah. big plant. Yeah. And then they, they showcase, showcase the products uh, in the background also. It's very simple. And what's you know in focus is just the hosts, 
and mm. uh, you know products. Yeah, I really like this because I mean, compared to to use and compared to what we're gonna see in a few seconds, this is a really simple, yeah, it is. You know, no frills yeah. setup, and it seems to be working quite well for them. <laughs> it does. It does. Actually, uh, when we did the the first live shopping with Ida, it was just a clean white background, right. and it was maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, it wasn't enough. So then we added uh, this curtain and we sometimes changed the color mm. uh, and stuff like that. So yeah, just a perfect example example of uh, how to do a Is a this studio. a separate studio or is this in the, at their office space? Or where it's is at this? their office. They, ha they, they have a studio at their office. Okay. Uh, they are very good at, uh, at doing stuff on their okay. own. So, right. So it's but a, from a setup perspective, it's pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, it's it, is. A, it just is. a curtain. And, and it's uh, a big studio, but you can yeah. make it, you know, uh, uh, much more smaller. It doesn't have to be that big. Great. Um, I, I have a little surprise for us today. I brought uh, oh. one of uh, our customers, eCooking, and there's Mike. Mike, also from uh, Let's Go Live. And this uh, is a live shopping event that you did for them just about a, a few months ago. Yeah, I think so. Not I, think so yeah. I thought maybe we could play it because this, you know, one thing is to put stuff on in uh, and, and words and, and icons and stuff. The other is actually is to show a video where you guys helped eCooking produce a live mm. shopping mm. event. And this also kind of shows what your bread and butter is in terms yeah. of helping people. I thought maybe we could just show, we don't have to watch the entire no. uh, video, but you kind of uh, help you know, narrate what's going on behind yeah, the scenes and stuff. So let's, uh, let's, let's give it a go yeah. and play this. And you know, it's, it's always hard to choose between, between favorite, favorites, but I'm not hiding that eCooking is, is one of uh, our favorite customers yeah. and, and a great case. Right. Yeah. I think it's also important to mention here, okay, let's, 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 let's tee this up a little bit. So eCooking, mm -hmm. as you said, it's an amazing company. It's one of the, it's a fully uh, e-commerce business yeah. and it's one of the fastest growing uh, home and beauty products or brands uh, in Europe. Yeah. Which is also quite interesting. Uh, and I guess you'll mention that the, who these people are in the video. Yeah, I can do that. All right, I cool. Can do that. All right, I'll, I will press play then and let you do the, the talking. Perfect. Here we go. If I can find the play button. Yes, there. there we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, the two. Yeah, this is Penilla. She's actually the social media manager, and she is uh, the one that we work with. She right. just all the all the strategic and tactical parts. But uh, the person on the right side, I think, it's uh, the influencer Sarah Frost. And we were also uh, going live on uh, on her channel actually. Okay. So it was uh, eCooking's Facebook and Instagram, right. and also Sarah Frost's uh, Instagram. So we just maximized uh, the reach. Same video, just across different streams. Totally the same. Okay. Uh, just different uh, channels, we could say. Um, Sarah Frost is is one of the hosts, yeah. But the other host is Anya, uh, who is uh, from eCooking's customer service. Okay. So she knows everything about the customers, what they want, what their questions are, what they are in doubt of. Um, and one of the choices that we made uh, when we made the strategy for eCooking was that eCooking doesn't, I think Penelope mentions it also, they don't have their own stores and um, we uh, discovered that it was very important that we have to show some faces, put some faces on the brand uh, because they have some really good characters. Um, so Anya is, uh, I think, one of the best live serving hosts that we have, at least here in Denmark. She is uh, down to earth, uh, she knows everything about eCooking's products and she knows how to make community and uh, personal yeah, connections with the, with the viewers, uh, with the community. Yeah. And this is you guys behind the scenes helping them produce this, right? Yeah, it is. This is a high quality very live shopping event. Quality. It's very important yeah. to, you know, when they, they have a day cream or something like that, yeah. it's very um, important to see, you know, how it is yeah. uh, and uh, uh, yeah, how thick it is and stuff like that. Also, makeup, um, how does the, uh, how is the foundation uh, of uh, mm. the, the color of the foundation and stuff like that. So it's very important to get close up uh, right. on, yeah, on products and, you know, the effect of the products also. Right. Right. Yeah. Fascinating. So, let me pause this real quick. Yeah. What we saw just before was, was one of, uh, on the screen just before was a, a competition, uh, what I think we call it. So when we have a competition with e-cooking, yep. uh, we say, okay, now we, has, you, now we have five minutes and just 
yeah, get crazy in the comment section. And that's a way to maximize your comments. It is to, to make it for a limited time, uh, not uh, 30 minutes, but maybe two or five minutes. And then you just get, uh, yeah, 20 to 30% uh, more, uh, more comments. Yeah, and this is also like why it works. And this is really yeah. where we kind of dip into the power of, of social media and building a loyal yeah. community. Because mm. it's like, okay, great. We have a nice uh, nice live shopping event. It's well produced. We, we put it out on social media, but what's the, What's the underlying factor? What's what's the really the, the competitive advantage of doing it on, on social media? And I think this is where it, it speaks to that. Yeah. I, I love the effect about going live everywhere at once, Facebook, Instagram, your own web page and stuff like that. Mm. But the truth is that it's the social media that gets you vol volume uh, right. regarding viewers, right. reach, reach and volume, revenue, yeah. uh, stuff Precisely. like that. And uh, if you should do the same on your web page, there is a huge barrier. So it would, yeah, I think it would cost a fortune. And just the fact that it's on social media mm. uh, is maybe the, the, the yeah the most important fact. Right. Uh, if you have, uh, if you want to to make community social proof, uh, and, yeah, and stuff like that. I also think you mentioned before, like adding an element of gamification yeah. into it, uh, which is great. That not only boosts your comments, but helps you automatically extend your organic reach. One of the things I love about this is it not only helps you find people who uh, are friends of the people who are watching. But it also, because of Facebook and social media's algorithms, helps you find lookalike audiences. Yeah, exactly. um, Ida, for example, 75% uh, of the customers who buy on their live shopping events are new customers. And these are customers that they probably would have had to have uh, reached through very expensive paid marketing channels. Yeah. So I think that's quite... quite. I uh, think the number when talking about e-cooking is, is 50%, which, which is also great. Oh, great, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but there's a really good customer success story about e-cooking. You can look at the numbers and stuff. Some nice little tease out there. A shameless plug for, for Elisa. Um, <laughs> if you guys want to go check that out, just go to elisa.io and you can read more uh, about that. Uh, there's so much to get into here. I think just this, just this topic right here could be worthy of a webinar in and of itself. So totally. maybe, we'll, maybe we'll do that. Yeah. But, but yeah, just looking at, at the video here, you have the yeah. product overlay, but you also have some GWP, I, I think it's called. So when mm. you buy for more than... Uh, 500 or stuff like that yeah. you get a, a special free product offer. yeah right. exactly right. And that's just one of the things that we do with e-cooking um, yeah but there's plenty more to talk, of, uh, talk about we can do that another time this is great I just love just watching these yeah. I think the production value here is so great also the transformation they went through from being having no makeup on yeah also to have your makeup on. What I also love about this is that they're not hired TV professional hosts. Damn, These are man. people who work for the company, who are deeply passionate about yeah. the brands and the products they're selling. Selling, And I think and it, 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 it just shines through uh, yeah. on the other side of the screen. Yeah, absolutely. So it's more like, let's get real, let's get authentic. Let's kind of, it, it, it's almost like this counterculture now that I think where everything doesn't have to be so pretty. So for lack of a better expression, Instagrammable, you know? Instagrammable. Which is, which is great, if you yeah. ask me. Uh, but I'm also a Gen Xer, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. So how to, how to get started. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's really important. It's like, great, I understand it now. I understand what it is. I understand who it's for. I understand why and how it works. What if I wanted to get started? How do I do that? Yeah. So I think it's super important to start with a clear plan. And in addition to helping uh, companies understand, you know, let's go out and produce a really nice, shiny live shopping video. You guys also spend a lot of time with companies helping them understand the plan, the strategy, right? Yeah, basically how they want to go live because right. many know uh, that they want to go live because right. they can see the successes. Sure. So we have a lot of uh, sure. cases and stuff like that, but they don't know, uh, you know, what to do because of course you can sell on live shopping and, um, and, and yeah, what do you sell? How do you sell it? When yeah, do you sell exactly. it? All those basic and, and, and maybe the, uh, the, the most important thing when talking about sales or live shopping, uh, sales and live shopping, is that it it doesn't have to, it, it, it must not shine through that you are just only here going live for selling. There has to be other uh, stuff going on. Right. Uh, E-cooking is a perfect exa example. They give guidance uh, and stuff like that. Um, they have uh, uh, competitions, mm. other uh, entertaining stuff. Uh, there has to be more than just sales in it uh, if you want to get high retention rates, uh, many viewers, organic free, uh, reach, uh, a high organic reach. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So basically, so we just the, help yeah, them. Yeah, so know. The, the, these are the questions that we suggested that, yeah, that people good. ask themselves, yeah. right? So why are we going live? What are we trying to achieve? Yeah. Um, you know, what, what are our overall goals? 
Like what's a, what's a common goal for, for a company? Yeah, of course sales, right. uh, but also many they, they want, if you look at the television uh, right. ads, uh, the, the purpose for them is to, I think, to make some branding and some awareness. Right. And of course, uh, you know, get out to a, a lot of uh, consumers. Uh, television ads, they are very expensive. Yep. Live shopping sessions are not. Right. And uh, when going live on social media, um, having a lot of competitions or and other um, things that, that makes engagement, you also get a very, very high organic reach and it costs you almost every time zero. Uh, right. It is very, very cheap. Right. right. It's a very cost effective way of pulling customers yeah. to your website. And while they're at your website, you can also, you know, put a cookie on them so you can track them for the retargeting and What we also do on, on many uh, live shopping is that we uh, collect uh, newsletter permissions right. and, and stuff. And right. that's also worth money. Uh, Very much so. Uh, email, email marketing is making a huge comeback. Yeah. So. Okay, great. All right. So let's, uh, let's go back to this. Uh, and then there's other questions that we would recommend that people include in mm. their in their plan. It's like, how do we measure success? And I think that's super important because if you're going to be disappointed, then you should probably start by asking yourself, what were you actually expecting? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and then also, of course, oh, sorry, knocking my mic here. <laughs> um, who do we want to target? I think that's also really, really important because that's going to have a lot to do with your messaging and the product and the service and so many other things. But then also, also like once you get... You know, dip your toe into this and realize that it's going to be a, uh, a successful opportunity for you. When and how often do you want to do it? Because some of our most successful customers at, at Elisa, uh, some do it maybe only uh, once or twice a month. Yeah. Others maybe do it two or three times a week. It really all depends on, again, all these other questions as well. Yeah, it does. It does. And, you know, looking at our customers, uh, some someone goes live every second week. Some Someone does it every quarter. And, yeah, most of them does it uh, one time a month, I think. At least once uh, a month. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's when we're looking at bigger uh, bigger companies, I right. think. Because right. if you're looking at, uh, at smaller companies, mm. stores and stuff like that, right. I think that they should go live, you know, almost every time they can. Right. Um, but we actually have, I don't remember if it's number two or if it's number three now in our mm. series, but this is actually going to be a series in and of itself where we talk about the specific strategy. Yeah. So if you want to know more about this, then uh, then then come back uh, in, in uh, I think it's next month, actually. So there's mm. another one as well. It's like, okay, um, what equipment do I need? How do I really go about getting the equipment? So we put this question um, to... Our content creator, mm. Marissa, who's super creative, we were like, hey, just run with it. Just come up with something fun and exciting. And uh, this, is, uh, this is what she came up with. And she's going to show that with the Elisa formula, it's really very, very easy. <laughs> so you've heard about live shopping. You know that it's huge news. You know this is something that you really want to get on board with. There's just one teeny, tiny problem. You have no idea how to get started. But never fear, we have developed the perfect formula for getting you started with live shopping. I think that that was that was hilarious. I liked that video. Yeah, a little I in, saw it the other in, day on LinkedIn. In, intermezzo with uh, <laughs> with 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 Marissa. She actually asked Mikkel, that's how I created the director. She's like, Mikkel, can I borrow you for a few seconds? He had no idea what he was getting into. So, all right, uh, that's great. That's yes. great. Okay, uh, so let's move moving on. Let's go back. All right, so look, um, continuing with this thread about how to get started. Really, what it boils down to is three simple steps, folks. Yeah. Um, you simply, you, with using the Elisa platform, all you have to do is connect your account, so mm -hmm. your Facebook account. And that's that's very easy. Super simple. Takes 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 little time. Uh, what else do you, after, after that, what do you do? Yeah, it, that, yeah. but this is a step number two, yeah. and it's called set up your event. And of course, you have to create a, a campaign with products uh, in Elisa. And by campaign, you mean a, a live shopping event, right? Yeah, exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah, but also you have to make one in Elisa with all the products and uh, competition and stuff like that. Okay. And then on your social media or 
and stuff like yeah, stuff like that. You mm. have to create an event where people can say I attend. Yes, yes. and that's uh, the most important thing when talking about marketing mm. uh, and live shopping. It is to create an event where people can uh, say I attend, and then you of course have to share it on on all of your platforms or, or and channels, newsletters, maybe maybe some paid social ads, um, maybe have some pop ups or. Yeah. Uh, so what I hear you saying is like, one thing is actually say, hey, we're gonna do this, we're yeah. gonna put it out there, we're gonna go behind the scenes, put all the products on there, and we're gonna create an event. But there's a promotional slash marketing component that's pretty vital. Yeah, people have to, to know to that you're going live. Right? People yeah. have to know it, right. And that's also why it's important, we were going back to what we talked about with Christian before, is that you kinda need to have a strong social media following yeah, to begin with, and if you don't have that, then don't worry, because this could be a way for you to start to build that strong social media following yeah okay great and then once that's all set up then it's really just to go live yeah and it's really nothing more like at a really high level three basic steps connect your account set up your event and then obviously promote your event yeah and then go live go live really yeah. couldn't be more more you simple. could do it from an iphone just having a ring light uh, and you know using the elisa software you can also contact us uh, right where we help you but you know. Yeah, absolutely, because that's also really important. That We know that this is new for, for yeah. many of you out there, and just want to, to let you know that we are here to help. One thing is talking to a computer, uh, talking to uh, a chat bot, whatever. The other is talking to a live shopping expert. Um, so if you are looking to, uh, to try live shopping and you know just have some questions about what does onboarding look like, need some support with your onboarding, what does the technical aspect look like? I really just, at the end of the day, want to talk to a human about this. Yeah. Plenty of great experts. Yeah, and this, this applies both to Elisa and also Let's Go Live as yeah, well. Of uh, course. Because we're, we're working in lockstep. And uh, if you don't want to you know, speak to an, uh, an American like myself, then don't worry. <laughs> we also speak uh, Danish, we speak Swedish, Norwegian, French, Hollis, uh, I'm sorry, not Hollis, wow, Dutch, Spanish, and a few other languages as British. well. British. That's uh, we speak way better than American. British. That's uh, <laughs> all right. All right. We, we may disagree about that, but that's 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 okay. Uh, but feel free to do do reach out to us. I think that's one of our strengths here at Elisa mm -hmm. is that we're not just a a technology company. We're also a technology company who's super passionate about giving human centric. Human, uh, human. I human. also think that's a, a good way. We're B two B, but at the end of the day, it's people to people, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like life shopping. Like live shopping. And uh, finally, hey, if any of you guys want to try live shopping, I, we obviously we want all of you guys to, to participate in the full uh, boot camp. But if you mm -hmm. want to try it for free today, you can go ahead and get started. There's 14 day free trial, no strings attached. You can go to elisa.io, press uh, try for free, and you'll be started in, in really just a, a few minutes. So, uh, in closing, let's go back and look at our five part live shopping bootcamp series. Today we just completed live shopping 101. So you're now, if you watch this, then you will now be one step closer to becoming an expert. In September, we're, the date is still to be determined, but we'll be looking more at live shopping strategies. And you and I touched on it very briefly today, but we're gonna unfold that, yeah. unpack that a little bit more. So come back in September, we can't wait to have you guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any comments or questions, just drop them uh, in the comment section or you can reach us at elisa.io. Great. All right, folks. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us Bye. and uh, have a great day. See you. See you next time. Cheers.